G'day guys, Troy here from FM Life and welcome back to another episode of the Youth Development Guide. So today's episode is going to tack on quite nicely with the last episode last week, which was all about training. So we'll be looking at the staff, having a look at the coaching staff from the first team and also the under 18s. Um, because we are developing at the moment an under 18s player, we'll look more closely into them. But we also do need to have a look at the first team coaches as well, and we'll get into that a bit later on in the video. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is analyze the staff of the club. What I want to do is have a look at the under-18 staff first. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, come over to the coaching team. Um, from here, that will be your main, your first team coaches. And what we don't want to do is click on down here, under-18 coaches. Okay, so I've got a view set up where I can see most of the attributes that are actually needed, um, their contract, their contract length, and their personality as well. Um, if you want, you can download any of my views from the Steam Workshop um, and just input it as you would normally do for any view. Um, but I find it quite helpful, especially to look at things on one screen rather than going each individual player or each individual coach in this instance. Um, so yeah, if you want, you can get any of my views on the Steam Workshop. Uh, but let's get on. So what I'm looking for first off is uh, their youth coaching so how they work with youngsters and what we want to do is sort uh, the coaches there so look down to the bottom and as we can see Nicky Butt head of youth um, not very good. Uh, he's probably the first first coach to go <laughs> because the head of youth development is uh, is a major part, uh, especially in developing a club. Uh, so yeah, he's going to be the first to go. But what I'm looking for is above 15 rating in this kind of category. Um, so the couple couple coaches there probably need to go. Um, United are pretty blessed with um, with their under 18 coaching staff, which they have a, a fair few a fair few good coaches, so uh, which is pretty good. In the technical area, you're not going to find too many coaches there that actually um, have got good tech technical attributes, but Man United, they're pretty decent, so there's got a couple coaches there that can do a couple different roles. What I'll also look at when looking at the under-18s coaches, uh, for example, is their uh, personality as well. I do want them to be um, what I aspire to, so that person personality which is professional, so I want a lot of my coaches, or well, most of them, to be that professional personality, resolute, uh, model professional, uh, model citizen, you're never going to get, just forget it, uh, but the professional personality, that's what I'm looking for, that's what I'm aspiring to. Uh, it's not a deal break in some instances but if I'm on the edge and their personality is like balanced or maybe just fairly professional or something like that um, then they'll get the boot as well. So those are the areas, there's the kind, the kind of deal breakers that I go through. So the youth, uh, working with youngsters, personality, and then I'll look um, in between the attributes and see what um, see what coaches really need to go. So this guy here, Colin Little, um, yeah, across the board, he's bang on average. Um, but if there's a, another coach there, so say technical coach, or uh, well the manager actually, uh, under 18's manager, just balanced balance personality, working with youngsters, only 14. He's got a couple decent attributes, so he'll be a very good um, uh, shooting coach. So he's got attacking and also technical technical attributes right up there. Uh, so it would be a good coach, but for my manager, for the under 18 staff, maybe you won't cut it. But what you need to do first is have a look at the uh, staff and have a look at a search. Uh, just see if you can get anyone that's actually better. Because if you do just terminate the contract, tr uh, terminate the contract, you might not be able to get anyone better. With Man United, the good chances are that we will get someone better. Uh, but if you're in a lower club or in a lower league, um, just have a look first. Have a look at the attributes that you're working with for that role. And then have a look to the market. See who's out there. See, see who you can get in. And then you terminate the contract. Because there's there's been a lot of instances where I've just terminated a whole heap of guys, went to the market, and then thought, geez, I can't get anyone better than this guy. So just keep that in mind before you actually terminate a contract. And also, if you are going to terminate within a uh, terminate contract, say for the under-18s manager, um, you can also have a look in the club to maybe promote someone to that role. Uh, so the, the top guy in here is a very good coach. I think he does actually retire after this season. Uh, but he's a, he's a good coach, a very good coach. Working with youngsters is very good. Tactical knowledge is probably not there, so I might want to look at my head of youth uh, if I'm getting one in and uh, make sure their tactical knowledge because I want this guy to set the tactics for the under-18s. I can set it to my uh, the same as my first team, uh, but I do like to mix it up especially with the under 18s and just play with the players he's got it doesn't always have to be exactly the same as mine but that's just how I play uh, but this guy's a good um, a good coach uh, he's a good worker of youngsters as I said uh, 20 he's got some good technical attributes as well his mentals are okay uh, but we're not really looking for this we're mainly looking for he's working with youngsters his personality uh, maybe motivating as well because he needs to motivate the players and then it all depends um, if you want that, that uh, the coach or the manager to have that technical knowledge to set the tactics um, then you'll need to have that as well um, yeah just have a look on the staff roles can he be a manager he, he probably can't so we'll just leave him as it is and as I said he's going to retire anyway 
Okay, before we leave the under 18 coaches, we'll just go through the head of youth development. I don't want to touch too much into this because it probably needs a, a separate video. Uh, but the head of youth is a massively important um, coach or a member of staff in the side. Um, but probably not at the moment for developing the player um, that are in the club at the moment, but bringing in new players to the club. So every year when you get a youth intake, uh, what happens is normally your head of youth, you can set it up to be your um, under 18s manager, but normally head of youth, because there are a very good head of youth out there, um, he brings in the new players to the club. So every year there's 15, 16 year olds that just magically appear. Um, it's all up to this guy pretty much. And what you're looking for with a head of youth is his personality, his judging player potential and judging player ability. If he's going to be always, you want to work with youngsters to be out because he's going to be coaching also um, the under 18s as well. So the main two for me are judging player potential and also personality. When um, the the head of youth has a good personality, which Nicky Butt does, but he's, he loses everywhere else, um, his professional personality, what will happen is the players that come into club will be closer to that personality. It's not always that all the players are going to be professional, but you will get a couple in there, which is sometimes uh, not the case. You won't get any professional. So if you do get that professional personality, as you remember back in episode two, when we had to go tutor a player, and sometimes you got to tutor him for a couple years, that's wasted time in development that he needs on the training pitch um, to develop uh, PPMs and also develop his uh, his attributes as well. So that's that's waste of time that's gone into something else which is not needed if you do get a, a good head of youth and then that will tack on to the players that the players that he brings through will have um, a good personality to start with. Another way he affects the players that come through uh, the youth intake is his, uh, I think his playing mentality or his coaching kind of style and also his preferred uh, formation. So if you're playing only with uh, three, three fullbacks or sorry, three center backs and no fullbacks, um, but this guy has a 4 4 one, one so he can't, he brings in uh, fullbacks. So he thinks that's his main, that's his main areas that he's looking for players who will bring in fullbacks uh, each year if you get some, you know, good fullbacks, but you're never going to use them because your tactic is not set out for that. Um, you just got ways to tell there that you know you can retrain it depending on the player but you can retrain or you're just going to have to sell this fantastic player because your tactic is not set up uh, to play a 4-4-1-1 Okay, so moving on to the first team coaches that you got at the club, and um, we do want to have a look at attributes or technical attributes in this one, but we'll have a look at that at the training screen, but that gives me those star ratings and I don't have to calculate it all up. Um, I can get a good indication, but um, we'll go into that a bit later. Um, we're still looking at that working with youngsters because these coaches were actually trained, the under 18s, and also the players that are in the uh, first team squad that are under the age of 23. That still makes a massive difference when coaching those younger players. So it's an attribute in his mental um, area that does not, uh, that you shouldn't overlook, sorry. Um, yeah, you shouldn't overlook that attribute because most of the time when you're playing, uh, especially with years going on, you want to get, you know, good young players at the side, you know, always under 21, you know, normally an average kind of side is, you know, 23 or under. Um, so that's why you want to have a look at that and make sure your coaches that you've got have got a decent, uh, decent to good working with youngsters attribute. Along with that, you do want to have a look at the personality as well. Once again, we're trying to get that professional or higher personality, or not much higher than professional, but around that kind of area there. Um, so we just want that to rub off on the players. Um, if we're going to aspire to have most of the players in the club, in the club, professional personality, and um, if they're the, about the same personality, personality, they actually um, bond together quite nicely and they get better results out of the players. So that's why we want to have a look at that. So when we come down on the play, on the coaches there uh, for the first team that have poor uh, poor youth uh, working with youngsters rating um, there's a couple of coaches there so you've got a fit two fitness coaches a goalkeeping coach um, assistant manager he's look he's a very good assistant manager so I think I'll probably leave him so we'll just have a look at the the four coaches there already Nicky Butt we know we're going to get rid of uh, fitness coaches and goalkeeping coaches those type of coaches already know they're a dime a dozen. Um, there's lots of good fitness coaches, a lot of good goalkeeping coaches as well that you can get fairly cheap um, in terms of wages um, that are a lot better than these in fitness. Uh, Gary Walker, 16 and 17 for this guy. Uh, goal, goalkeeping coach, this guy is pretty good at 19, but I think I can get a little bit better because some of his mental attributes, like his discipline, his determination, is fairly low. Uh, so this kind of guy here we'll be looking to get rid of. Also, their personality as well, ambitious, which is decent but he's not the best uh, and two balance there so uh, first off I'd get rid of them uh, straight away get some new coaches in uh, which we'll go into uh, now Okay, so what we're going to do first off with the staff search is have a look at some under-18s coaches. Uh, so we'll just untick the uh, first team. So we want just the under-18s. We don't want to waste our time uh, looking at coaches that are not going to sign. Um, we'll 
do the normal kind of attributes in the uh, in the mental area. I won't worry about technicals at the moment because I just want some good uh, good coaches to come in with some good mentals. Also, tick on working with youngsters. Okay, we've now narrowed it down, and I've got this um, uh, view. Once again, you can download it from the Steam Workshop. Uh, I've got this view that tells me pretty much every area that I'm looking for. So there's a couple of coaches there, and what we're looking for is um, from the uh, the uh, Working with Youngsters rating, and also what I'm looking for at the moment is his personality. So right at the top there, a Resolute Personality, um, which is this guy, Vink. Um, he's pretty decent. Look. As I said, we're not really looking at technical areas because that's going to be the main area. Well, that's going to be the main focus for my first team coaches is to have that big star rating uh, in that category. They're going to be that main guy. Uh, what we're looking for these guys to, to do the fill-ins, uh, to still be there for the for the younger players uh, in different categories. So for this guy, attacking and mental, he'd probably be an attacking coach. He can also be a defending coach as well, but his, ta his tactical um, is not very good. So it'd probably be a shooting coach or a um, yeah shooting coach or a ball control coach. So very good mental attributes has got a good uh, adaptability so that means he can coach in uh, any country really he's, he is dutch and he hasn't um i don't think he's coached in in england uh, but he can he can coach anywhere with that good adaptability and he can pick up the language quite fast as well so he's quite good. He's at uh, Ajax at the moment. He's under 18s, uh, under 19s coach. Um, a very good coach or a very good club as well. Known for uh, turning out some very good players in the uh, in the youth ranks. Um, so a very good coach there. So what I would do when I find a coach that I'm that I'm happy with. <clears throat> what I'll do normally is I'll, um, well, I've already got him on the shortlist. What I'll do, add him to a shortlist. So staff shortlist is up here. And once you get a couple of guys, um, just go into it. And then you can narrow it down and pick the best possible coaches uh, for your under 18 uh, staff. And then what I'll do, I'll get rid of those coaches in the staff shortlist and then go for the first team coaches because I want to narrow it down and I want to compare different coaches um, and then just try to get the best guy. Because normally when I set up the coaches uh, in that first season, especially with a big club, uh, they stay at the club until I leave. So yeah, there'll be a, a fair few. So you've got uh, this guy here, Resolute. I'm looking for that personality, remember. Um, we've got another goalkeeping coach, which is pretty good. He's got goalkeeping of uh, 17. Uh, nothing really in the technical or mental. So he's going to be, he's not going to be very good, but he's still got that high rating in the goalkeeping coach. Um, but he's got that good personality. Um, working with youngsters, 16, which is not too bad. Remember, I'm looking for about 15 and above. Uh, another coach here, which will be pretty good. Decent at uh, defending coach. He hasn't got too much in, in tactical, but he will be decent. Um, I'll get a couple of these guys going into a short list uh, and they can compare coaches so if you don't know how to compare a coach just come over to uh, see, uh, Vink and then you can compare with if you've got a coach already at the club you want to compare him with you can do that um, so we'll just uh, for argument's sake we'll just do him here um, so we can have a look at the attributes and have a look at different roles you want to coach but I won't do that at the moment but we'll have a look at um, some of his mental areas uh, so with determination um, level of discipline is motivating so he's, he's a very good coach he's got the same 20 on uh, working with youngsters which is very good very high um, not looking at technicals as I said uh, before the first team we're going to have a look at technicals so this guy here, uh, very good coach. He's probably be one of the best at the club uh, for that working with youngsters, that best kind of mental areas. Um, we can also have a look at his different tactical uh, preference as well. So from here, we can have a look at the playing style, coaching style, and try to marry it up if it suits um, my coaching style or my tactic um, a little bit more. That means it's going to be a fair bit quicker for him to kind of pick it up and, and run with that. But because the under-18s, I don't really know, or I don't really pick out the, the tactical side of things. Um, it, it, this really, really uh, won't make a difference. Um, good to see Tony. I think Tony Whelan's been at the club for a long, long time. He's preferred personality, 4-4-2, second, 4-4-2. Uh, he's defensive and attacking, 4-4-2. Good on you, Tony. Okay, now we're over to setting up the coaching categories uh, for each individual coach. As I said, we've got some under-18 coaches, but they're going to be spread across a couple just to keep the options light or just to keep the work rate uh, lighter. I've had uh, questions in the past about um, this work rate or players coming to the manager saying, um, I'm not getting the right amount of focus, say, in defending coaching. Uh, so what that mainly means is um, this is too high, it's too heavy. Uh, what we want is average or light if possible. So that's why I'll normally set up um, my under 18s coaches for the best kind of category, categories they're in. As you can see, this guy can can go all all, all over. He's got attacking, defending, uh, mental, and technical is all across the board. So we'll, you know we can pretty much just set him up like that. My first team coaches, that's when I'll set up for their individual categories. Um, 
to be just a lone kind of category. They're going to give the best star ratings in that in that area. Um, you're never going to get, well, you can maybe, but it's very hard to get coaches or under 18s coaches that have got the best technical attributes, as I said at the start of video. So I wouldn't worry about that. We main, main thing we're going to have a look at is the star rating, getting this light as possible and getting a good spread across the board as well. Another tip is the timing to actually set this up. Don't set it up when you first start a club, uh, when you're first having a look at the coaching staff and, and, and whatnot. What you want to do is have a look and analyze your coaches, get rid of the dead wood, get the new coaches in, and once they're in, once every role is set, and then you start setting up the star ratings. Um, you can just ask the assistant at the start. This will give you, you know, a good idea. So you've got a four star. Um, it'll give you a good idea of what coaches you actually need to boost up. So we need a good defending coach or a better defending coach um, in tactical, in ball control, uh, in uh, shot stopping. Uh, that might be the case where we can actually just move a coach to a certain area as well. Uh, aerial area as well. Okay, next moving on to the other roles. The, the roles that don't do much that you can actually see. Um, so your physios and um, your sports scientists, that, those new roles that we don't exactly know what they do. Uh, so your sports scientists, your uh, data analysts. So there are instances where you'll need uh, to get coaches in for this, and I'll show you how to search for them in a minute. So, But before you do that, go ha always have a look. This is the, probably the first screen that I start off at uh, when I start up a save. Go onto board and have a look at what coaches are current, uh, what are revised. Uh, so at that moment, especially for the under 18s, uh, we know we need an assistant manager so that's probably the first coach that i'll be looking to get in uh, under 18s manager we're, we're good at the moment remember we might get, be getting rid of him as well uh, so you might want to you know shoot him off just once again have a look at the staff um search and see if you can get someone better uh, but there's a couple there so you've got the under 18s physio there we've got a fair few we can actually get in uh, under 18s specialists uh, sports specialists as well um so, sorry specialist scientists um and also some data analysts so under 18s we, we can get two data an analysts in um, so we'll have a look at the staff have a look at the staff search um, we'll get rid of this okay typically how I search for those like uh, those data analysts and the sports uh, scientists is I'll come over to here add and then go staff role um, what we want um, in any of those roles is like a sports scientist as we already know uh, make sure it's for under 18s only um, because there's no attributes that are there that we can actually see uh, that are suitable for the role. For a sports scientist, you've got to kind of think that maybe physio, um, maybe fitness is in that role. Working with youngsters, we know that already um, for a given if it's going to be for the under 18s. Uh, for a sports scientist, yeah, that's probably what we what we need. Um, so we just click on that. What I do is because of my view and I've set it up as a start, that's a star rating for the actual coaches themselves. Uh, so that can come in handy as well. Um, I'll normally sort by there, uh, to be honest, and there's not really not real rhyme or reason with how I pick out a sports scientist or a data analyst because I don't exactly know what they do and sports interactive haven't really told us uh, but anyway yeah I'll just normally look go on to these guys and probably get them we can get uh, you know good personalities at club if you want to do that um, but just you know pick out the best star rating someone with good youth um, kind of rating if you want to throw a couple attributes in there as well um, as I said maybe fitness um, physio and there's no one suitable for the role. So you have a look at this, that. That's why it kind of shits me as well. Because they're not really suitable for those kind of roles or for those attributes, they actually think. But anyway, um, yeah, a couple of these guys, they're not even a sports scientist. or well, they're mainly a fitness coach and a physio. Physios uh, for under 18s are very easy to get. Just go, um, you're working with youngsters and also physio. There's always some very good uh, physios out there as well. Okay, last but not least, in the staff, um, we're talking about the big cheese. We're talking about me. Uh, you yourself as a manager, what you want to do. Um, with Man United, I've set it up as the highest. I'm an international player. What you've never heard of me, and um, with the with the most you know the coaching badges, all of the all of the good stuff. Um, what we want to set up is for coaching an area that you know it's hard to get. I know it's hard to get a good attacking coach. Also know it's hard to get a good shooting coach. So they're the areas there um, that I've put in, and they're the areas we want to focus on. Uh, I always like tactical because I do like to train tactical. It gives me those good attributes there. Uh, excuse me, I just hit the desk. It gives me good attributes that I that I like to work with. So that's why I normally would pick tactical training in one of my one of my three month periods um, so that's why I'm always good at tactical and always always good working with youngsters 
Okay, guys, that's it for me today. In uh, the next episode, in, a, in about a week's time, what I'll do, I'll sim forward probably three months, maybe six months, uh, and then we'll come back and have a look at Gomez here. We'll have a look at his attributes, what attributes moved up. Do I need to move away from the current training plan that I've got him on? Um, and we'll have a look going forward in six months' time. Uh, that'll, that, that might be the shout, because that will be the new area which I can um, get a new tutor in. And hopefully, his personality has come up from Driven. Hopefully, that determination hasn't taken too much of a hit. Um, but yeah, we'll look into that into the next episode. As always, if you're enjoying the series, please leave a like on the video. It always helps me out. Let's me know you're interested in the series. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.